starting a part of chapter one where we left off last time with Anthony, which is page 18, because since last time it was just me and Cookie, we just skipped over to the second chapter and read that. So we left off with the characters eating some fish or something that looks like fish. Um, uh, so, okay. Um, the, all the bubbles on this page will go to Anthony. Okay. Uh, atamate. Atamate. Kitana. Fufufu. Atamate. I don't. Wait. Atamate is short for aru. Okay. That's a aru. good guess. It's probably aru. from like atata kameru to make warm. Um, and uh, there's, there's some slurring going on. Would be since we have kita here. Uh, so atamate is. Here comes the heat. Uh, here comes the heat. Uh, uh, uh. Close. Yeah. So the kita uh, for coming here can have a second meaning in Japanese, which basically means like to come to be, kind of like naru, like neko ni nara means to become uh, a cat. So here it's basically saying it's gotten warm, referring to the food. They've uh, eaten up the food. Okay. Then, ja, ikimas. Then, I'm going. Uh, ikimas and start. Yep. In this cup. Exactly. Uh, then, fu fu fu, nani wara, nani wara tenno, I am saying, um, so fu 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 means like a laughter, then the next bubble is, what are you laughing at? Then the next bubble is, uma sugite, warai te kuru, sonna ni, uh, she's saying um, it's, it's exceeded being um, uh, delicious and uh, I'm laughing because of that. Yeah. Or, I, I, yeah. Right. Um, so that was a good literal translation. Of this line. If you want this to sound more natural in English, it's to be saying, it's so yummy that I just have to laugh would be like a way to like colloquialize okay. that because too yummy, right? Uh, umai yeah. sugiru and warai tekuru means to come to be, right? That same come we saw earlier with the laughing and the yeah. passive like saying so with atatameru to come to be warm. Fufufu. <laughs> Desho? So the other character laughs a bit and she says, right? Um, Sakana sugoi na. Fish is amazing. And next bubble is gonna go to Cookie. Fish no hito wa ii na. It's no. Because like um, the people from back then were um, were really something, I suppose you could say. Um, they were always. I wonder if they were always eating things like this. Hi, hey, perfect. That's exactly this. I would translate ina tends to show up when you're jealous about something. Like, oof, those those people in the past had it good, would probably be how I personally oh, would translate enough. that. But your line was still great, too, I just thought, since you were like, mm -hmm. this is the line. I thought I'd just open that up. Next line is for Anthony. Okay, Dodaro, uh, what's heavy? Quantity? Kyo? I don't know what it is. It definitely has omoi for heavy at the end. Yeah. Ah, kicho, precious. Kicho, ah, kicho. Mokashi mo kicho na mono datta no kamo tsukere nai na. So, what's been dropped from the sentence is the item they're eating that says sakana. Dodaro. So, Dodaro means like, um, how is it? Mukashi mo kicho na mono datta no kamo shirenai. This is a um, precious item. I think it is a precious item from the past. Hi. I really close. Uh, yeah. What does Daro mean? Dodaro. Uh, Daro. Uh, it's like affirming something. 
It can be used how to um, affirm something, so you, but you can't use it to mean how is it. How is it is a question, right? You're asking a question, uh -huh. how is it? You're not saying, if this said it's good, isn't it? Then that would be correct. Like uh -huh. you said, that all, right? That's a statement. Uh -huh. We have do, yeah. which is a question. So it doesn't actually make any sense to use that all in the context you were translating in here because we have a question word here. So do that all is more like, I wonder about that. Hmm. So the first line is, ah, oh, people in the past had it good, didn't they? Hmm, I don't know about that. Did they eat this itsumo? Maybe this item was a kichouna mono. Does that make sense now? Uh, um, basically okay. it's saying maybe this is actually a precious food. It's not something they ate all the time. Maybe it's a, like, was something like expensive, you know, only the rich people could have it. Not just everyone in the past. Uh. Which... You know, considering this is can sakana, probably is not the truth of it. Next two bubbles is for cookie. What? Uh, oh, what is that? Uh, Akitai. Just somewhere. Right there. Oh, yeah. Kihon. I'm wrong. Kihon. Yeah. Kihon wa imo bakari da toka. Imo mo umai. Um, okay. What is imo? Imo is on um, potatoes. Oh, fair enough. Um, oh, we talked about bakari before, but not mm. bakari. Uh, the What's that? bakari is a lot like um, dake, but the difference is that bakari is more focusing on a category of uh, items, while dake is more focuses on specific things. So um, here it's basically okay. saying only emo, only potatoes, right? Meaning that I didn't just have one potato, but all I've been eating has been potatoes, right? Um, oh, wow. So, and this is a hypothetical thing, toka. So perhaps mukashi, right? The people in the past, what they would eat, itsumo, because mm. that's our context. We're talking about what old people would eat in the past, was always um, emo. Mm. At least that would be the basic idea, right? The kihon. Yeah. And what did the other character respond to that? Um, um, potatoes are also good. Yeah, she's like, ah, I've had potatoes all the time, that's also whatever. great. Yeah. Mite, Chi-chan, nani yatteru no? Look, Chi-chan, what you doing? And next bubble goes to um, Anthony and it's Actually, two bubbles. This is one line based off my skimming. Anthony. Anthony, Anthony. Okay. Uh, yeah. I got muted. Ko yatte kan o? What's that? Kan? Yep, That's it is kan, kan, right? Hi. Ko yatte kan o? Mizu no ue ni? Ukabete Anagasu Ah, ukabete Ukabete Nagasuto Hora Sakana ga Oyoi de Oyoi de ru mitai Ah It's saying Koyoku Like this Um What the time Oh, you know You know Well what do you think he, the, the blonde hair character is doing in this picture right here? With the can? Um, he's like, she's like uh, putting the um, can on top of the water. Hi, hi, hi. Exactly. If I take so the can they, and I put it on top of the water, it's literally the first line. Right. Uh, and it makes it float it, on the it, water. <laughs> yeah, it seems <laughs> like that fish is floating on the water. So if you put the can on top of the water, Throw it on top of the water, then it's going to like. It looks like a fish is like swimming. Hi. Yep. If I do it like this, then um, the can, it floats on top of the water, and when it flows, like it, it gets brought through on the water, then look, oh. it, doesn't it look like a fish swimming? Um, yeah. So next is for Cookie. Okay, what do we have here? 
Yeah, Am I supposed that. to read the handwriting too? If you can, if not, you can skip it. Uh, it's a bit small. Uh, I think that means um, me no, uh, and then that's my and then that is uh, something I think I've seen before, but I don't remember. I think that's a shoulder. It's Hone. Hone. Ah, and then that's sort of um. Yeah, I'm not sure what Ooh, Nino Mai is meaning I'm not here. Sh- Nino Mai. I think they're talking about the two things in front of them. Mm. Mm. Is that I right? don't think so. I think she's talking two about something that happened in the past. No. You will. You wouldn't say Nino Mai to mean two things in front. That doesn't make any sense. There's no counter here. Okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> Uh, Honede yatta yone means, um, you did it with bones. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure what it's saying here. Zunzen <laughs> wakaranai. Oh. They said something with bones suppose last can, time. Um... Uh, last time they ate a fish. Um, yeah, and they ate, like, a raw fish. But yeah. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what it's saying. I, I suppose we can skip over it for now <laughs> yeah. and come back to it later. Um... Meanwhile, we have, um, no, Hano, um, what is that? Uh, Oyogu? Oyokasete. Wait, swim? Okay, Oyokasete and, um, Shogamai Daro. Um, oh, oh, hang on, um, Ooh, hands like can't swim or something yet, I wonder. Yeah, there's nothing you can do with it even if you make a can swim, probably. But yeah. I basically, I think you're saying it's going to sink. I don't know how Nina no Hone de Yatta no Yone said it. Ah, Fune. Oh, it's a boat! <laughs> Next bubble is gonna go to Anthony. Okay, uh, Omoi Dasta. Fune de. You. De. You. Mizuni. Okabu nori mono ga. Arundayo. Um. I remember something. I just remembered. Um. The, the thing that you call a uh, fune, a boat, uh, uh, is, is a thing that you ride to float on top of a river, uh, on top of a water. Right. It's, it's a thing that you that floats on top of a uh, water. Yep. Next to bubbles okay. is for uh, cookie. Cookie, cookie. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got cut off. Yeah, um, I know, Kudoi, that's no, 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 um, Mizumi, uh, Uka, Boy, Uka, Bu, Nori, no, no, that's no. Okay. Hmm. Well, that, for that black structure, yeah, um, as for that black structure, um, is it something that we can, that, that can flow on water and we can ride on it? What does that mean? Um, that's like a past tense. Yeah, so you can't do it anymore if it's in past tense. So that black yeah. building thing, was it a... A uh, vehicle used to float in water. Come on, sit at night. Perhaps. Yeah. Um, that was. I think that was the thing they used to cross over earlier in the book. Oh wait, no, that was the way earlier. Um, next bubble is for Anthony. Okay. Still loading up with babies. Uh, only one bubble, right? 
Yep. Right. Only the one bubble. Okay. Muzuni Okabu Nori Monote Doya Ikitai Ho 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 Wait this ho a ho 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 ni ikundaro. Um saying like um how will we like oh, in which direction should we go if if we're going to like ride on ride on that thing that floats on the water. Good guess, you got confused with relative clauses. Um oh. so um so ikitai hoko, right? Ikitai is describing yeah. hoko the place in which we want to go. Doyate uh, okay. how do we iku how do we go to the lo- to the in the direction that we want to go in? I wonder. That'll Right? Uh, so she's not really uh, saying where should we go in the boat? She's saying how do we steer a boat? Right? Um okay. So while we were doing that I googled this line that we were confused about. Uh, let's see the English translation, and it was literally what we said it meant, which was last time we did it with bones. Apparently, last time they floated the bones somehow. Yeah. I have no memory of this, so uh, that's what it says. Uh, <laughs> but like, <laughs> this was literally translated. Same. Wow. Just no memory. Um, next bubble is for Cookie. Uh. それなりにやりそうななるんだろうけどうんそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう
<laughs> like, um, why to Jess um, float through the river, which sounds weird currently, but um, this is saying, um, you know, we can't, because we can't just, you know, um, continue, we can't just float through the river, right? So she's basically saying oh. we have to have some kind of direction that we're aiming toward here. We can't just do that. Ikanai, right, comes from iku to go, but negative, so we can't go. Don't wow. go in a way we that is just float. floating. Yeah. So I guess just is the tada here. Tada is the tada just. is simply or free. Oh, okay. Simply is another way you can translate tada. Yes. Um, it basically means all you're doing is nagareteke. You're not um, steering or anything else like that. So, waken ni wa ikanai means you can't do that. There's no reason that could exist that would say, sure, just um, flow down the river. Okay. Uh, sometimes this is like, wake ganai is a idiom because of that. <laughs> but it's literally just the there's no reason. Um, next bubble is for Cookie. Okay. Just waiting for the. I think it's a. Uh, um, That's a good guess, but um, oh, Anthony no. never read the other bubble on the other side. You gotta stare at the screen, Cookie. Oh. I was assuming you used um, red for Anthony, but never mind. Ichiban ue o mezasun de short. Um, no, no. So, the highest, um, should we go to the highest, um, floor, or, like, the highest level? And then they say yes. Basically, this show can be used to mean should, um, but not really that kind of questioning should. With a question mark, it's more of a statement that you're supposed to say hi or yet to, right? Um, so she says, so mm. the first character says, uh, we're not just floating randomly. We ha we can't do that, right? Instead, the other character says, yeah, because mm. we're aiming toward the most highest point of the city, right? They're, they're not just flowing around. They mm. have a destination they're trying to get to. They're um, steering. Um, and now they're doing a little flashback mm. from earlier. So they ja sono saijo so ewa do ya no, which is I'm saying, well, in that case, um, how do we go up to the very upmost area? And the next bubble right here is gonna go to Anthony, because I just realized this is not actually a flashback, because there are new words. This is one line. Um, okay. Um, koko kara nisie itta koko kara is nisie itta toshi no ah is this kita nisi how do you say this kita nisi it's probably the married region this <laughs> is what is the married region of west kita is. oh west well, it, it means northwest, uh, but the reading is the question. Let me see. Um, hokusei. Hokusei. Oh, okay, uh, toshi no hokusei no hashi ni aru aru um shokoki shokoki nara Sai, sai, ko, sai, ue, sai, jo, sai, sai, jo, sai, jo, sho, sai, jo, sho is the pinnacle, or the top, very top, no, te mai, de, te mai, ma, de, iku, koto, ga, de, kiru, um, oh my god, so, okay, uh, here, um, from here, from the, from, from west, uh, from, this, Nishi. So, Nishi is, you, is, when you read this, oh. you want to separate this out into relative clauses. 
So kokokara is good because we have kara, which kind of separates us out of everything. We got our own kokokara. Then we have、um, nishie ita, and then we have toshi. So ita is describing toshi. And then down here we have aru, which is describing the jokoki. So this actually says if ko- jokoki. With the kokokara, I would actually say.、Um, Is describing the toshi. Kokokara、um, nishie ita toshi. So、uh, I'm gonna put kokokara. This is one relative clause.、Um, you have to use context for that. So,、uh, so, so, so you wanna start、um, with the head, which is jokoki. 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 So if we're going to like, if. So, if, so、uh, if elevator, the elevator, which elevator? If elevator, if elevator, uh, so called Kinara, uh, Toshino, Toshino, uh, there's a um, bridge on the northeast, um, northeast town. Where's the town?、Um, towards, uh, towards the town. Oh, which town?、Uh, the northeast. No, the north. The、no. northeast town. Sadly, no. So,、um, you made a、uh. different mistake here, but with adjectives, <laughs> right? You get something right here, and then it's described by something like that, right? It's, it's an order in Japanese. So, Toshi. Is describing the hokusei, but hokusei is not describing toshi. That's not possible. You can't go backwards in Japanese for describing things.、Okay. Um, the other mistake you made since we we're doing a pause here was hashi. Hashi does mean bridge, but not with that kanji. That kanji there is hashi, which means the end of an object. Specifically,、um, uh-huh. if I draw a rectangle, the hashi is the Ends that are most furthest from each other.、Um, for example, the、oh. two ends of a football stadium would be used with hashi. Or a bridge will always have two hashi, right? You got the, bri- the side you enter and the side you exit are two hashi. So there exists.、Um, the, so at, at the very like, end area of the city, in the northern area of the city, the northern western area of the city, We have an elevator. <laughs> so I guess, I guess it is like describing the city, but specifically it says the city's northwestern end exists an elevator. Right? That, that's what it says.、Um, if. Oh. Well, ignore the if for now. It's very confusing you.、Um, we still need、okay. the kokokara <laughs> nishie ita. We still need to do that. We're. This is, this is one、oh. noun described by two different relative clauses. This relative clause is describing the toshi. Ha, ha, well, specifically, it's describing、uh. the hashi, because it goes to the. It's... Okay, so. so which from bridge? From here.、Uh, from here.、Um, we can go to, like, the eastern. We can go. We're going. Eta. We, we went to the east. Good guess. We went to the east and. Nice. So I'm going to go break down this、okay. section for you. So this is <laughs> the elevator that exists on the end, specifically the northern western end of the city.、Um, from here, if you go. I need to throw an F in here. Going west. Going west from here, there is an end of the city. The city will end, right? There's an end of the city in the west direction from here. At that end area, that is officially northwest. Because apparently we're already north, so we just need to go west to go to the northwest end, which is from here just going west. There will exist an elevator. Now, nada. Nada does mean if, 100% correct. What kind of if is nada? 
person. Okay. Yeah, person specific, exactly. Yeah. So here, the person specificness here has been dropped. So sometimes this is used to define a topic. He says, if you're asking about where an elevator is, that contextually can help them. Their goal is to get to the upper later. So he says, if you're looking for an elevator, there exists an elevator in the northern west area end, which is from here going west of the city. Right? And uh, when we go with that elevator, what should they be able to do? Um, say, so, say, say, so, say, so, say, so, say, so, so, say, so, so, no, they may, my dad, we could put up, we can go to, to the a bit before the upper part, the most up the top that's down. Yeah. Great. Um and sadly that's where we're gonna have to stop because um my computer's battery's gonna die. It's not can't really charge it in time. So last page of this chapter will be next week and then we'll start the third, uh, we'll start chapter, um, 2035 after that. So, kind of funny. Nice. 